Good morning to you, my prayer partners. I come with a message today that um, a lot of churches have different opinions on. But my shirt says, just breathe. Just take in a deep breath and release. Take another deep breath and release. And one more time. Whatever your faith walk is or how you believe, this is Brother Robert Morris and the way he has brought this message. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist Christian and I've been taught a certain message. It may not have as much light as he has and others may have other and different opinions. I'm not here to argue anything. I'm just simply here sharing this Bible plan with you. And I do believe it does have certain truths in it. That's why I can read it. Amen. So I've given it a bit of a disclaimer. I typically don't do that. But this is a topic that can go certain places because most people don't truly understand the gift of tongues. The gift of speaking in tongues is profitable and useful. But of the nine gifts of the Spirit, this is the one that Satan seems to oppose the most. Many believers can't think about this gift without experiencing some confusion or doubt. And Satan has worked hard for that result. However, there's one simple important thing I'd like to note. The gift of tongues has been graciously given to us by the Holy Spirit. It begs the questions, why are so many Christians afraid of a gift from God. There are two very different parts of this gift. One is the grace of prayer language, which I will focus on tomorrow. So that's for tomorrow's plan. And the other is the gift of tongues, which the Holy Spirit distributes as he wills. 1 Corinthians 12:11. It is important that we know the purpose for the gift of tongues. This gift is a message from God in an unknown language to the person through whom the message comes. And like the other gifts of the Spirit, it's meant to edify the church. It's meant to edify the church. So if someone in a gathering of believers receives the gift of tongues, it is meant to benefit everyone at that gather gathering. However, all throughout 1 Corinthians 14, Paul gives us some rules. And that's the part. Now listen for that. Let's listen to this part. In verse 26, he says a tongue must be interpreted by someone with the gift of interpretation of tongues. Another of the declarative, declarative gifts, excuse me. If someone bursts out with a message in tongues in the middle of a small gathering of believers and there is no one there to, to do the interpretation, how can it benefit anyone? No one will know what the person is saying. And in verse 23, he instructs us to refrain from speaking in tongues in the presence of unbelievers or those who are uninformed about this gift. Otherwise, they might think we are out of our minds. These rules are not meant to constrict this gift. They are simply in place to make sure the church is edified. I like to point out something interesting about these rules. They are written in chapter the chapter following 1 Corinthians 13, which is all about love. We live in a lost and dying world. And I believe the Holy Spirit gives us gifts so we can love and bless those around us. Have you experienced any confusion or doubt about this particular gift? Yes, 
absolute 100%. I used to argue in college with people um, because of the way I was raised. We didn't talk about the Holy Spirit. We definitely, if we spoke about the gift of tongues, it was, to me, I interpreted it as a very negative uh, way we spoke about it. And it wasn't until our church took the time to study the Holy Spirit, to study tongues, uh, the gift of tongues, excuse me, that is, that I got a better understanding and no longer became so confused or had this doubt, like, what is going on over there? Um, cause I, I would visit more than one church. I just, I decided you should go see, well, what, what are they talking about? Do they love Jesus? How are they expressing their lives? I went around to find out, okay, why is this one different from different, this culture and this religion, different, this, this and that. Cause I want to find out so that I won't be offensive to someone and be able to have a dialogue and conversation, get understanding. So yes, I would answer yes. If so, I encourage you to ask the Holy Spirit to reveal his truth to you about this wonderful gift from God and that my friends will clear up all confusion if we ask again oh I'm sorry we have a new memory verse and it says pursue love and desire spiritual gifts but especially that you may prophesy 1 Corinthians 14 1 and the prayer goes Holy Spirit Reveal to me today any lies or misconceptions I've had about the gifts, the gift of tongues. Show me the truth of this gift and how it can encourage the church. In Jesus' name, amen. Just breathe and enjoy your day with Jesus.